let me just go to the negative keyword tool which is this ability to find patterns in you know a bunch of long tail words so let's say i have a product for kind of uh, early tweens um, girls between ages maybe 10 or something eight or eight to ten now mm -hmm. this as you can see has a bunch of search terms right these were clicks two three one these are the clicks right now individually you can see toddler comforter for girls is showing up it consumed one click bed sets for toddlers consumed one click toddler boy bedding set king size one now by itself this is not harmful because it's just one click right and it might fly under the radar of like a click threshold but collectively if you look this word toddler 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 is appearing in multiple long tail keywords and it's a pattern that i want to negate but how do you discover that pattern without um actually doing some sort like some kind of analysis across multiple keywords so we built like this this tool again using ChatGPT's help where we split the entire list of long tail keywords into single words so for example in this case girls full size comforter sets all of these words become a long list and mm -hmm. there'll, there'll be a counter for how many times the word appears and there'll be a counter for these words you know you'll be able to see that the word daughter actually appears six times in your entire list so if you know this list you know you can sort this list descending by frequency how how many times a word is appearing and then you can visually spot the ones that are not good for you like you know clearly that toddlers is not a word or let's say neon if the word neon appears five times and you don't even sell a neon product you can just negate safely negate those words uh, at scale so we've actually since then we've replaced this simple method with the n-gram analysis which is more complicated and you can probably research a little bit more on n-gram analysis there's a few different people talking about it i won't get into that today but the point is that uh, ChatGPT actually helped us create this this single keyword tool analysis tool because i can easily spot how many times a word appears in a list and then i can uh, negate it i can just say okay this is not good i'm gonna negate it right so it's a counter basically very simple counter but it does the job of finding something that is uh, kind of not necessary you're not necessary to to um, advertise in fact it's harmful to advertise now have you ever tried using chat gpt that you know, after it creates you those single word lists then ask it okay which of these keywords are probably not relevant for my product yeah you could do that you can chain chain up different prompts and do exactly what you said todd that's a pretty good, good idea yeah yeah especially the limit. someone else's products and maybe you're not entirely familiar with you know the product yourself you can take advantage of just copying in the title bullets description and having yeah. chat gpt at least uh, help you with it yeah exactly yeah there's so many different ways of doing it